All right. Uh, my name is Samant Hev again. So today also we are going to start uh, another session of Grade Eight uh, GC IC ICT Local Syllabus. So we were in uh, Word Processing. I mean uh, Chapter Three. So we we were discussing about the applications or the benefit of word processing, and we were talking about some you know uh, pro this application features. So you know application features features. Wait, I will share my desktop. Right, uh, right. Okay, I think everybody can see my board now, right? All right. So, uh, application features means what? That means whatever the application, right? When you are using, right? When you are using, what kind of a benefit, right? Benefit to what kind of a, what kind of a things? You can do from that particular application, right? So, for example, I think we were talk about uh, you know by word processing application, we can create a letters, we can make question papers, we can create newspapers, we can make application forms, invitation, reading card, magazines, posters. So there are a lot of things I think we were discussing these things, right? So. Then I think we were talking about these uh, controls. So I think we, if you are opening word processing, right? Application Microsoft Word. Now I am open 2019 because my version is C. If you want to see the file, uh, go uh, version, go to file. There is an option called accounts, right? In in that account, see, I have what? There's a there's option called about word, right? Can you do do with me? So this is see Microsoft Word 2019 MS. So this is the OS operator. See, see, this is the 64 bit operating system. This Office package is a 64 bit. Now most of the application comes as a 64 bit. Earlier it was in a 32 bit, right? That means every character, every the every single character, right, representing by 34 bit. Earlier every single character representing by 32 bit, right? Right. Uh, Ronalia and. Uh, Tarul, can you go? Can you click on file? Go to option, uh, go down, and there's option called account. Click on that and see whether what is your operating, what is your Microsoft Office version, Ronalia? What is your operating, uh, what is your Microsoft Office, what it implies in here under account? Ranaya, are you there? Yeah. Yeah. So, what is your version uh, of Microsoft Word? Uh, it is. It says three hundred and sixty-five. Microsoft yeah. three hundred and sixty-five. Yes, yeah, that is called Office three sixty-five. Don't say three hundred and sixty-five, right? It's uh, you say three hundred and sixty-five like a rupees. You, it the it, the the correct pronunciation would be office. You you should know. And Tarul and other uh, Ronaldia. Hi, Cindy. How are you? Fine. Cindy, wish you happy new year. Same to you, sir. Namaste. Okay, yeah, we just started the class, Cindy. So, uh, so today the plan plan is like this. 
so uh, first uh, first uh, half an hour we will uh, continue our uh, microsoft uh, okay. word right uh-huh. microsoft word uh, after uh, 7:30 we will go jump back to the uh, chapter 1 and chapter uh, chapter 1 and we do some revision because i think you will get some exam or you know some term test or whatever the test in yes your, sir. yeah in your school so we will ready for that as well so that's how the uh, plan okay right okay so the office 365 right that's that's how you have to pronounce so uh, don't say office 365 not like that right you say you have to say office 365 that's the correct pronunciation of the version of the this this is the latest version right latest version of it actually this is office 365 i will tell you something right this is cloud based what do you mean by cloud cloud based any idea what do you mean by cloud based any idea this office 365 version is a cloud based what does it mean cloud based means these office 365 all the emails all the document right not to make it cut we we can tomorrow we need to be having a stock you know we can recite i think uh, tarul uh, we are we are getting your voice so my mic is going crazy yeah your mic is perfectly working uh, we can hear you no sir when i click uh, to mute it, uh, it oh now it's mute right okay just mute and listen okay we can recite uh, the, so all the files and things are reside on the cloud or the internet right got it so i will i will uh, i will tell you about some of the things about the microsoft because you should know that right right microsoft office package cloud so if you write uh, portal.office portal.office.com right this is uh, uh, see this is my cloud based office package because you see this is my uh, see account manager right so if you want to see this uh, view account right because this has been purchased by my company right i have been purchased to my company because uh, my it company that is called hardnet service so be, i because i want to uh, you know i want to have some uh, cloud based solution i go through this right and see oh, uh, see this is microsoft 365 this is totally cloud based normally i pay i think 25 dollar per month right something like that so this is uh, microsoft 365 right see i have outlook i have onedrive i have excel i have word i have powerpoint i have one one onenote i have teams i have sharepoint i have yammer i have power automate i have admin so these features microsoft has given to me because i have purchased it got it so this is the latest office 365 package right so if you want to, if i click word what will happen see now the platform is different right now i am i am showing you i am demonstrating the online word version online very good to know because now because you know when you are go when you are growing right next year or next year right so you, even the technology also growing 
so definitely i don't think after o level o level you won't work with this office 365 of this normal office platform definitely you will be shifted into the cloud based solution like office 365 right better at this point so we will right teach you so what kind of a uh, what is the latest office 365 uh, cloud based solution you would have right and you can see because this is the live demonstration where i can uh, i can demonstrate because i have i have this feature in my computer because i have purchased to this to my company as well this is online word right now i am going to open my online word see new blank document right see see the different right see i have now blank document ah see but uh, see i have home insert layout same no but this is a this is a cloud based solution see same thing i can do right this is called online word feature so i can bold it i can iterate it underline i can make colors right i can highlight clear formatting right i can do whatever the thing right i can put numbers right so see the same features same functionalities where you have in the office 2016 or 2019 or 2000 right so this is cloud online word right see where is where is this location now i am working on the see this is my company hardnet services my sharepoint personal samanta hevage hardnet service.com layout see this is the location where i am working right got it right this is very new handy feature right if we want to uh, same thing say if i click on excel see new blank work workbook so this is a online excel see this is online version of the excel so this is different from what you have in your computer but all the features are same right insert page layout formulas data reviews everything is same so uh, if i open excel normal this is normal excel application which is open by your computer see the different right ah uh, see this is a, this is not online version this is the application version office computer version this is computer excel version right excel application which is reside in your computer this is in computer right in your computer pc desktop or laptop but i am earlier i show you see this one i will minimize this see see the different you should know these things different see this is cloud based cloud base excel this is computer base inside computer you have understand this is yes sir right because i know even though you we don't want to teach you cloud version of office to you but i i i would have i i am teach i am i give some introduction i am give some introduction because uh, you should know th there are some online versions even in the office packages see this is this is the online version right see 
Remember, even I don't have this office application installed in your computer. See, somehow I have installed in your uh, in my computer office application. That's how this word and all are coming like this word, uh, PowerPoint coming like this. But if you are only purchase Microsoft 365 as I purchase like this, you don't want to use uh, this office application in your computer itself. You can work in in the cloud version. So this is cloud version. Right. OK, so I think you you would have remember this, right? So in Office, Microsoft Office, you have a cloud version, which is comes under Office 365 cloud version. And other one is is a, a application where you can install in your computer. Right. Uh, install in your computer and you can use it. Right. Any question? No, sir. Uh, I think, sir, we have done up to text formatting tools. Okay. Right. Yes, sir. Yeah, we have done those. Right, no worries. No, I just want to tell. I I know I, I we have done some uh, you know uh, uh, these things in your uh, in 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 this book, but uh, I didn't teach these things. The earlier cloud thing. I think Cindy and she uh, where's uh, Tarul? I think Tarul left. I'm here, sir. Tarul, are you there? Right, Tarul came. Right, no worries. Okay, I think uh, we'll open the word something with uh, your word application. So, not the cloud version, normal computer version. Right. All right. So this is something uh, word what we have. Right. Uh, OK, so what are the features? So size to change the size of the font. What you can use? This one. I think you you are aware of these things, right? Here. Right, you can change the size. You can change the font style. Right, those things I think you are aware. Of. Right, then bold, italic, underline, very easy. Right, even the two, grade two or grade one student also aware about these features in the word booking because they have some demonstration as said. Uh, the, the bold, italic, underline, right? These are underlining text. From these are highlighting, you can highlight, right? This is like a super strip. That means your word, the text line, it goes up to two, two, three above the text line, super strip. Subscript mean to bring the down from the text slide. CO2. Right. X2. 
right? And x, uh, this is superscript. Now, this is earlier I have done subscript. The very small letters just below the text of line. See the, see what they are telling, right? what they are telling. Right. So this is called subscript. This is called superscript. What will happen from the subscript, Tarul? Tarul, are you there? The number will be go up. Okay. Uh, Ronalia. What is happening in the subscript? Uh, so can you say that again? I didn't hear you clearly. No, I am asking what will happen from the subscript. This is subscript. Ah, oh, the number will go down. Yes, number will go down. That means if you if you want. If you want to highlight this, if you want to put subscript, see. This is uh, Taru, this is not a number will go up. This is number will go down. Subscript. Remember that. The type very small letters just below the line of text. So see, this is line of text is this. Right. Now this is the line of text. If you want to put a letter below the line like this, then only you can use the subscript. Got it? Right. Cindy, I think you, you know this, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Good. See, whatever highlight thing, right, you can put a down. Understand? I think this is okay, right, subscript? Yes, sir. Okay. So remember, feature is called subscript. Okay, now we will we will check what is what do you mean by superscript? The very small letter just above the line. Ah, this is opposite of subscript. Right? See, this is the power of two, power of ten. 2 to the power, uh, 10 to the power 2. Right? This is called superscript. Superscript. These things very uh, important for you because you would have, I think, you know, from next couple of, uh, I think, 10, 15 years, Right, because uh, you would have done O level, then A levels, then you would have some degrees and all, right? And you are high, high education. So any, I think today from today onwards, around like another 15 years or 10 years minimum, you will use this 
word processing application because you would have do some assignment projects project submission reporting and all so better to know these features because these features never change even next 100 years right you will get these features subscript and superscript those are standards make your text pop by highlighting it in a bright color we can change the color right right from here you can change whatever color you like this is kind of a highlighting okay what's the feature text highlight color right text highlight color so be these things you would have noticed because when you do some presentation and all all right uh, sometime uh, you want to uh, show to your audience at that time you can use these features even in your uh, re project reporting and all if you want to highlight something very special way you can use this feature right that is called text highlight feature okay I think everybody this know this is what what's the feature of this? Font. Font color. Yes, font color. So we are using this in very much frequently, right? We change the color what we need, right? So this is called font color, All right? remove all formatting for the selection leaving only the normal unformatted text all formatting we we'll say it a bit Ah, uh, see, you have done bold and you put some underline, and even you done some italic. But now you want to change as a normal font. Then you go this clear all formatting. Ah, uh, it comes as a normal way. This is the chain case, lower case. and upper case right if you highlight you want to capital letter go to upper letter and lower letter right these are the under font features right i think everybody know these things very simple right okay i think this is what we have uh super strip we have done highlight underline yeah these all are covered right word also okay. actually this is grade 8 you have very small syllabus 
I think I can finish within uh, another two months. I will be finished this syllabus. But we can do a lot of uh, exercises again and again. Then you, because the grade eight, uh, very, uh, the, your syllabus is very narrow. Right? Very small syllabus you have in grade eight. So there is no difficult things. All are very, very simple thing. See, only a hundred pages. I think grade seven, we got more than hundred. No, I think one hundred forty or one hundred thirty. Right? I remember. Is that through Ronalia? Excuse me, sir. Uh, yeah. We only have six. Uh, like 70 pages to start and all of the other pages are some uh, translates no no whatever yeah. i am telling you so earlier grade seven what we have done in last year right we had a more than more syllabus than this time yes yeah you? yeah I think we today we will uh, we can uh, another 10 minutes. OK, this we will finish this then. I think these are uh, left align, uh, you know, line left, line right, paragraph alignment and position in tools. So this is. Uh, left why this middle uh, middle one is actually this is center but in the middle one it's a line left that's why it's, that's why it says a line left this is middle one is this is remember this a line left a line right center those all three words what they are referring they are referring this middle line if the middle line is left, that is called a line left. If the middle line is center, we call them as it is center. If the middle line is right side, we say that right line. That's how you have to remember. Very easy. Check the middle line the, from the icon, right? You check the middle line. If the middle, middle line is side of uh, left side, it's sale left line. If the middle line is on the center, you we can say it's a center. If the middle line is right at the right side, we can say it's a right line. And if the, if the middle line and the all lines are in the same level, we say that justify. Right? So these features, see, what is this? A line left, where you can see the middle line is left. A line you are content with the left margin. Left alignment is com uh, commonly used for body text and makes the document easier to read. Yes. Right. This is called center, right ally, left ally, center, justify, justify also like a center. This is center, justify, 
right ally left ally because we have started here then like this anyway this side is a left this is left side this is center this is right side right So what is this uh, insert objects? I think uh, there's an option, there's a tab called insert. Insert, you can add, you can add insert like this, right? So these, actually these things you have to practice on yourself, right? This is very uh, easy feature. Whatever thing, insert, chart, right? See, these you can take, you can test, right? You can fill all, fill outline, right? Even insert table, right? Last column. I think you remember I think when we were in a, uh, in, in our small age, we are very happy to add what word up. <coughs> Sorry. We go <coughs> insert, we click this word art. Can you remember? I think you have done this, right? Word art. Everybody like this, this feature. Insert word art. Right. So these are very uh, interesting feature. Right. We can draw a text box. Right. Very easy. Right. So insert option. We have a lot of things. Right. Even your book is not mentioned these features, right? And I will I will uh, teach you one important thing, right? You should know this one: insert header and footer. Because when you do some assignment, you should have headers. You say I say I put my company Hardnet Services. You say IT company, right? IT company, right? 
this is my header see it's it's my header it's like a now uh, it's like a paste in in the word document top of the word document see this is header if you want to add a footer see i don't have footer footer is is still black then go to insert i want to add a footer here footer option is there footer i am saying we are like committed to it support like that right so this is my footer see now what will happen if i again another open another word page it will come another word page it will come see? that is called header and footer right is the name sorry someone asking something what is that hello Guys, you there? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. No worries. Okay, so this is header and footer, right? Very handy feature. You should know these things. I think in header and footer in your syllabus, uh, no, they don't mention that. So, but I mentioned because where this is very important when you do some. Uh, uh assignment based work you can say uh, here in the top you can say uh, we say ronalia grade 8 and his school name something like that then here you can put uh, whatever the thing a page number even you know then it will be you know your document get some you know uh, look and feel got it right that is under insert right insert header and footer See, there's a, I will teach this as well. Insert page number. You can put a page number. Ah, uh, see. See, now page number is appearing. See, one, two, three, like that. So that is called insert page number. Bottom of the page. It's called, it's down now. See, three, two, one. So you can align this, whatever your uh, location. Remove page number. I have removed it, right? So you just try with these options. These are very handy tool options in your in the Word application. This is uh, these features are heavily used in assignment, uh, students assignment, the project reports, whatever the document. If you are preparing, you should know this. How you put some low? Ah, uh, see if you want to put a logo. Definitely the logo might you can put uh, we say your logo should appear each and every page header. Then very easy in here you can put here. You can put a logo here. Here. Insert we say what? Pictures. This device. I'll say my pictures. Okay. I'll put some logo. Uh, we say logo. I say this logo. Okay, I will. I will make it small. Right. So when you say when you you know when you go to the whatever the 
uh, you see, if you want to align, uh, you know, align this where you need, you know, if you want to move this uh, ima image or picture, what you have add in your Word document, you right click on it, go to web text. There's option called in front of text. Now you can move it, whatever location. Otherwise it's very, uh, you know, if you are using other features, very uh, cumbersome to move. Now I can move it without any issue, right? I enter. What will happen? Have you noticed? Sir, how to get the picture? Yeah, picture, but uh, it's like this, no? Go to insert. Pictures, there's option called pictures. Uh, okay, sir. And from here, you can say this device or online, online video. Or this device will from your computer, you can select. Say I put this logo. Right, I make it small. Right. And if I want to may, uh, properly position in it, I can use to web text. I put light middle. Now you see this is I put in header. So you know every document this header will appear. Now you just enter what will happen. See every page it will appear. Got it? Have you noticed that? Guys, I am asking from you, have you noticed that? Yeah. What do you have noticed? Okay. Uh, now I have teach you a lot of important features which is not in your book even. Tarul, did you get those features? These are very see insert in table, inters in word, are inters in email, very easy. But I have teach more than that. I have teach how you put uh, header, how, how you put footer, how you move your picture, where you need, where, where you want. What's the feature? If I want to move this, I have to see web text. Right click, right click whatever the image. Go to web text. Select the in front of text. You can move Sir? now. Yes. The in my word, uh, like my word processor, your one is blue, no? The, where, uh, the uh, your document one word, that column is blue, no? Yeah. This column tell me what you want. But my one is black. Yeah, that doesn't matter. So you can change. You can, uh, you know, there's a view, view in option. You can, you know, a lot of features are there. So uh, don't worry about that. So you worry about these features, what I, what I taught you. So I am, I, I, I was asking, now did you notice, assuming that, right? See, now I am, I am putting some image. I am asking the question from you all, right? Uh, I think, uh, wait, wait, I will put a logo, another logo. You say, okay, I put my logo, my company logo. Okay. Right, my institute logo, right. This is my institute logo, right. Now tell me, uh, if I want to move it, see, now it's not moving. 
how i can move uh, you know without any issue ronalia ronalia are you there yes yeah, sir can you say the question again i can't hear you properly Oh, yeah, I didn't know them. The mama, mama, so I'm speaking. You, yeah, sir, but your voice is breaking. Uh, sir, sir, there's sir, a your voice, voice is sir, breaking. Sir, 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 sir. yeah, there's an option called posture. Posture, posture. No, no, I am asking the same very simple question. Uh, Cindy, uh, can you tell me how I can move this image without any issue? See, now I can't move this. Very hard, very uh, difficult to move. So you would have answer because I have teach you, I have show you now few times. You would have answer for me. I don't know. Uh, you are not listening. No, you are not concentrating. And after I am asking some question, you are saying that uh, you you are not here or something. So if you are not hearing, you would have say at that time itself. What is the feature, Cindy? Sir, Cindy, are you there? Yes, sir. Cindy, how I can move this without any issue? This is the image where I uh, add from insert from pictures. What's the feature? Uh, you can minimize and. Uh... Okay, I minimize. Well, see, I can't move like this, no? I am trying to move for the right side. Ronalia, can you answer for this? Sir, Tarul? Sir, there's a small, uh, like, uh, option called, like, use. Uh, I don't I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You three are. I don't know. You are not concentrating of my lessons. I don't know. See, I have teach you three times. I said that right click, go to web text, go to in front of text. See. No, no, sir. no, 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 no. So wait, wait. Don't talk. I'm telling now I am talking. You I am telling this. See, now it's moving. So I show you three times to you all three guys, but no one answer. So I said that right click, right click on the top, of, right click on your image, go to web text. Yeah. So these have some features, right? Go to web text, click on in front of text. In front of text means, so you can, so, this image you can go anywhere now that kind of a feature is there see in front of in front of is what the front of the text see now text is behind that got it text is behind that the image is come front i right click click on web text we'll say Behind text, what will happen? Ah, what will happen? Notice it. What will happen? Behind the text, the image is go is transparent. Behind the no, not the transparent. Behind the text, see. Behind the text, that means text is. Come front, 
my logo or the image go back, go behind. That is called behind the text. Again, I go to web text, click on in front of text. See now what will happen. Now text will be go behind. The image will be come front. Got it? Yes, sir. Please note these features. These are very handy feature. Because I, I am teaching these features when you do some assignment in your school, whatever, using Microsoft Word application, these are the handy tool. These are the massive usage tool. You should know. Right? If you know these features, your time, your effective time will be less. Right? So you can you can finish within short uh, sh uh, short time period because you know the exact feature. Ronalia, now you get this or not still? Yeah, I got this. Sir. Okay, nice. Cindy, are you okay with this? Clear. Very good. Even though this is not in your books, right? But I want to teach you because these are very handy features. When you do some assignment, when you do some Word documents, right? You will stuck. If you know this feature, you can move whatever the image you like. You can put somewhere. You know the feature. Right. Good. See. In your Word document, in this syllabus, the word, uh, they have teach you only 5% of the features in your Word application. Right? Very, very simple, very, very simple things they have put in your syllabus. But as my view, this is not enough to you. This is not enough to you. You should learn more things. So that's what I am here. That's what I am doing. This. Right. So I can't hear you. Hear you. I'm hearing some noise. I need to uh, mute, mute your speakers. Mute your microphone. Are you there? Yeah, yeah, tell me. Yeah, any question? No, sir. Right. Right, I think we, we have finished the chapter three as well. Right now, but uh, you know, since we have uh, after finishing this uh, other chapters, anyway, I am going to teach some of the new features in Word application uh, because this is very important to you guys. Right? Don't worry. We will do some demonstration, and we will. I will teach you some other important features in your word document before you go into grade 9 right because you know if you if we have more time we we we, we will learn more things so that is nothing harm right so i think after next uh, i think uh, ne i think uh, today we don't have time to discuss the uh, this revision and all. Anyway, how about uh, not tomorrow? Uh, how about Friday? Are you okay with Friday or Thursday? We should have another class because we should do the revision. Friday. Okay, Tarul, are you okay with Friday? Friday evening, right? Friday uh, six, uh, sorry, seven o'clock. Friday seven to eight p.m. Are you okay with 
that time uh, ronaldo yeah. yes sir ah okay great i think every everybody agreed that okay then next yes, session sir, okay with it great okay next session would be uh, uh, that is friday the 23rd right 23rd so for the next session that would be the uh, second session for this month then again we will uh, we will start 26 and 27 uh, next week remember next thing monday and tuesday we uh, both days we have classes right 26 and 27 are the test 26 what test school test 27 yes since the teacher told us it was may Yes, Cindy. The you are the as Ronaldo said. Your test would be by next month. Yeah, the math teacher said it would be in. Uh, it would be May. postponed to Ma May three. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. So that's one. Then we can start. We can do twenty seven, twenty six, and twenty seven. Sorry, sir. No worries. That's totally fine. Okay. Uh, so what we what we do uh, again? We will meet. We will meet on this Friday, twenty twenty third. Then after that, we will start next week, Monday and Tuesday. Then we will finish off this uh, uh, April, uh, this April uh, month, right? So I think uh, by this month we would have we we can start the programming language after revision. uh no i think we would, uh, at least we should have two three days for revision so anyway so we will meet on friday so we will discuss further how we can proceed you know with other classes uh right ronaldo sindhi and uh, tarul uh okay take care we'll have another class and uh, keep in mind that today i have done some good demonstration in this word document i have teach you lot of things which uh, which is not in your syllabus as well those features are heavily used to uh, to prepare some assignment to prepare some documents and all so remember those features as well even it's it's not in in your syllabus you you should uh, you should know these features right uh, you know uh, little by little we will go to other features as well because this uh, you should well aware of this microsoft word document uh, word application because uh, uh, you would have used this mostly for your assignment uh, school work not this year sometime by next year definitely you would have do this so better in advance you can know these features right then uh, by saying that we will wind up this class so have a good night take care bye bye good night sir good night take care